Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Linda and I'm a nurse educator. You are tuning in to our weekly application of In the Know, where we make it simple. Please comment your response below and then play the video for the correct answer and rationale. And here's our question for this week. The nurse is preparing to administer a corticosteroid to a patient with a diagnosis of asthma. What is the rationale for administering this drug to this patient? And so essentially this question is, which one of the following is true? So figuring out what a corticosteroid does is key to knowing the answer to this question. Okay, so let's read the responses. A, promote expectoration of mucus. B, decrease airway swelling. C, prevent respiratory infections. Or D, promote bronchodilation. So let's go back and find which one of these is true. A, promote expectoration of mucus. Well, that is not what a corticosteroid does. It reduces mucus production, so that's false. B, decrease airway swelling. Well, this is actually true. So the correct answer is B. Let's go on to the other two. C, prevent respiratory infections. Well, actually, steroids actually increase the risk of infection, so that is false. And D, promote bronchodilation. Well, actually, corticosteroids reduce airway swelling and inflammation. It's actually Ventolin that promotes bronchodilation, so that is false as well. So the correct answer this week to this question is B, decrease airway swelling. For the answer to this question and more, and for all concepts simplified for your registration exam, check out our complete study package. We guarantee you will pass or your money back. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.